and tried to call Heather Pels. Pels. And a typically frank interview that Mark Ellen just gave to Matt there just now, talking about how he has felt some extra pressure playing in front of his home fans, and he hasn't dealt with it as well as he might have done. He's not hit the heights that he has in recent weeks when, of course, he scored those back-to-back -back wins over Mark Selby, the world number one and world champion. But he's still in the tournament, Joe, and that's the key thing, isn't it? He has the opportunity to improve. Yeah, that's right. And um, as long as you're still there, you're still fighting. And like he said in his interview, you know, he, he, he will improve, although he's up against a tough player today in Robin Hull. And as he rightfully said, it, if it hadn't have been for illnesses, I'm sure that Robin Hull would have been up there in the top 16, maybe. He's that good. The first frame, Robin Hull, the break. Yes, it's been a rocky road for Robin down the years, but his love of the game has kept him coming back. Had to withdraw from the World Championship nearly a decade ago, suffering an irregular heartbeat. He retired shortly afterwards, but then got back on the tour via Q School. And he is a very capable player, as he proved when he won the shootout last season, beating Luca Brussel in the final. Great highlight for him after all of his travails down the years. That could have been a mistake. The red going close to that left corner. He's come down and had a look to see how far it is away from the cushion. needs a bit of luck and with that kiss on the brown I think he's got it he's covered the red over the corner with the blue a little fortunate there Robin Can you please put the bag away, sir? Put the bag away. It's noisy. Thank you. That's a good pot. One. <clears throat> but I don't think he's on the black. Maybe he is. Can he just get through there? Well, he thought he could. Gummy hole, one. And that was a chance if he could pot the black. Tried to move the red away from the black spot. And that probably cost him the pot. One. Play for the black this time round. Six. It doesn't need to because the blue easy enough to get to. Seven.
12. Now, 13. Really got hold of that one. He's a good six inches further past the blue than he would have wanted. And closer to the cushion. And I think he can avoid the in off in the left corner. Come off the two cushions for the two reds to the right of the pink. Played for the red just above the black 18. spot, but thought it could have been easier playing for the two reds over the right side of the table. Doesn't look to be on anything. Mark Allen, 18. Disappointed that that break ended as early as it did. Alan certainly finished his match against Michael Georgiou in the previous round in clinical fashion. An excellent century break to close things out after what had been a scrappy match to that point. And he'll be looking for more of the same today. Just three centuries away from joining the Magic 300 Club for his career. Yeah, just caught it a little bit too thick. And has left a chance for Robin Hull. Yes, he had to get it, though. He knew he was leaving reds on, and that added to the pressure. for the pink to the middle or the corner or even go up to for the blue. One. And this time in playing for the red, he may play for the black, try and get the black back down onto its spot. Again, he doesn't have to because he can win the frame with the pink and blue. Six. Seven. Ten. 
10. Well, that's Mark a careless Allen. miss 10. from Mark Allen. Said he wasn't playing well before he started, but time to improve, and there is. But that won't do his confidence any good. One. Seven. Just a reminder that over on table two at the moment, Kyron Wilson, former Shanghai Masters champion, of course, up against Thailand's Akani Song Sum Sarwood. Winner of that Eight. to play Rocket Ronnie O'Sullivan this evening for a place in the quarterfinals. One frame apiece at the moment on the neighbouring table <coughs> to the match we're focusing on here. We'll keep you posted. It's on the Eurosport player, of course. Fourteen. Well, the way he's played the shot, he's played for the plant into that left corner pocket. He's going to have to try and screw that cue ball out of the area Look for a colour, possibly the blue. Has to be made, as you can see. Not even close. Got me hole, 14. Totally misjudged that one. He'll be disappointed with that. It was a difficult plant, wasn't it? It was a little bit risky. In the event, it didn't threaten the pocket, but it could have done a lot of damage for Robin Hull's chances in this opening frame. Already 13 in front. Yeah, he could have done without the kiss on the blue. One. It would have been on choice of colours. Try and get the cue ball in behind the black. Mike Allen, one. Yeah, things just not going right for Robin Hull. Covered the red to the right corner, but left this red to the yellow pocket. May play the cannon to the brown, leave himself on the black.
Juan. Let's just bring you up to date with one or two matches that have already been and gone today on this fourth day of the Northern Ireland Open. Scott Donaldson, who pushed Ding Zhongwei very close early in the Shanghai Masters this year. Eight. He's beaten former world and UK champion Peter Ebden. Sanderson Lamb out. He, of course, thrashed Alan McManus yesterday, who's been in good form of late. Mark Williams coming through against Dave Gilbert earlier on on table two. And, of course, that means he will now play John Higgins, the class of 92, going head-to-head. -head. Later on, Barry Hawkins also among the winners today. Nine. And just a reminder that by close of play this evening, we will know the eight quarter finalists. A lot of snooker to get through today. Two rounds. Quarters over the best of nine frames, first of to five tomorrow, and then, of course, it's the best of 11 in the semis before the title match on Sunday. £70,000. And how this guy at the table right now would love to be lifting the inaugural Alex Higgins 15. trophy aloft in front of his fans. He's capable, that's for sure, but he'll need to raise his game. That only just wriggled in. But Robin Hull has given Mark Allen plenty of chances. He won't keep missing. 23. 37 points, the difference. This black leaves Robin Hull needing snookers. Thirty, and the red to make doubly sure. Thirty-one hugs the cushion, struck it well. A scrappy opening frame. Both players having chances, but it's Mark, Mark Allen, Allen who's made more of his. Robin Hull frame considered. Frame Mark Allen not able to get going in that first frame despite a few opportunities so it's the left-hander from Antrim who gets the first frame on the board four is the target for victory second frame Mark Allen to break Mark Allen with a break of 31 that was enough to account for a somewhat scrappy opening frame against Robin Hull Place in the round of 16 here at the Northern Ireland Open up for grabs this afternoon. The winner to play either Sam Baird or Gary Wilson. Yes, and another poor break off this time from Mark Allen. Leaves the long red on to the right corner. He was trying to play the cannon to the red next to the black, which added to the difficulty of the shot. And nothing much you can do with this except just drop it in and play the safety. Powell. He just called a foul. Foul. foul on himself. Yep. yep, called a foul on himself. Great sportsman, as most of the snooker players are. Take a close look at this. Just feathered that red in the centre of the cluster, perhaps. Well, didn't even see it on the replay. So, full marks for that.
Robin Hull beat James Cahill and Lee Walker to get this far, but looks a little edgy in the early stages. He had to settle. Yeah, he's not used to playing under the TV lights on the main table. He's used to playing on the side tables. So it may take a while for him to get used to this kind of atmosphere. Good pot. One. And he can pot the yellow. If it takes the red at the edge of the pack there, it's going to be bringing more reds into play. And you've got to make sure of the pot when you're playing that kind of shot. Mark Allen, three. Now, has he got away with it? The easy red to the green pocket. He'd like to be able to see that one. But if not, then he's got the long red to the right corner. Four. Well, that one that was nicely done. Moving the red away from the black. A little heavy for the black, but he's nicely on the pink. Spot held, so it goes 18. down onto the blue spot. Nineteen. And a little careless to have left the pink straight to the middle, if indeed he is straight. Five. 
26. And this time, we play down for the red just to the left of the yellow. And that misread by Mark Allen has given Robin Hill a chance to settle. 32. He's knocked a few balls in, and he's looking a different player now. And once again, that's a careless shot to be on the wrong side of the pink. A little bit of pressure on this one, not a gimme. Yeah, dead right. That was tough. But Coming it was home, a poor shot on the red to the yellow pocket to finish the wrong side of the pink. That's ultimately cost him that break. Bringing the safe red off the cushion. This looks good. Now, has he got the snooker? Or can he get to the potting angle of this red over the right side of the table? No, nope. can't see anything snookered. Very sticky situation for Mark Allen, who trails by 40 points. Hitting a red isn't the problem, leaving them safe. A tougher assignment. A hit and hope. Hasn't finished yet. It hasn't finished yet. No foul. <laughs> <laughs> but he has left a red. Yes, and he's already 40 points behind, so not many reds needed to make this frame safe. One. Eight. Four. 
14. A red and a high value colour would suffice for Robin Hull to level this match, barring snookers. Yes, two reds closest together. I think one of them would go to that right middle. Well, that's the cue part of Robin Hull screwing to the side cushion and off again. 21. When really he only needed to move the cue ball a couple of inches for the red to the middle. And that should be the second frame down to him. 22. Precisely what was required to settle any pre-match nerves. Get a feel for these match table conditions. 28. Thirty-six. Forty two, forty three. Yes, this is all over a failed safety shot from Mark Allen. He brought that red off the right 50. side cushion, which was the right thing to do. 52. But he left. He didn't get a good safety shot. He left an easy safety shot for Robin Robin Hull, and he got the snooker from it. And the hit and o didn't work out. 55. And he's took them well. And he showed this crowd that he can play the game. 59. You heard Alan conversation with our own Matt Smith before this match, singing the praises of Hull's ability. And of the view, 64. Alan, that had Hull not been beset by various health issues down the years, he would have achieved a good deal more. Well, this is why he holds that view. Robin Hull is a very capable 70, player, and he's I'm proved saying. it with that break. The initial 39, and then a 70 clearance to the pink to level this match. So all to play for. The spoils are shared after two frames. Thank you. Third frame. Robin Hull to break. Game on then here in Belfast. The home favourite pegged back by Robin Hull. Breaks of 39 and 70 after Allen had taken the opener. One frame apiece. it to bounce and that has bounced just enough to be able to nick it into the pocket it's a thin end, but it will pot and a good kiss on oh. the yellow
five. They've played four times, these two. And at the moment, it's three, one, two, Allen. Six. Yeah, yes, it's the, I was just going to say it's the second meeting of the year. They fought out a close match at the Welsh Open earlier this year. Alan just edging it 4 3. Yeah, that was a poor positional shot from Robin there. He's the wrong side of the blue. It's going to be very difficult to get to another red from there. Well, with the aid of the middle pocket, 11. he might be on a red just at the back of the pack there. But not taking the risk. Just playing the safety. Robbing Hall, 11. Wasn't far away from the pot, but he was trying to take the, the the cue ball back down towards the blue. Has left a red to the right corner. One. And at the moment, it's Robin Hull, who is in the ascendancy. Black will go to the left corner. Three. Four. Would have liked to have been low on the black. He could have played the cannon to the two reds then. But I think his top side straight. Yep. So can't get the cannon to the two reds. Uh, not directly, but off the cushion he could. And that was a tremendous shot he just played there. Over on table two, by the way, Kara Wilson up against Thailand's Akani Song Sem Sarwad, and Akani has taken. The third frame of that one to lead 2-1. The prize for the winner. A meeting with Ronnie O'Sullivan as Robin Hull errs on the red. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, oh. what a stroke of luck. What a stroke of luck that was, because he left a red to the right corner. Now it went in the middle, but that little kiss on the red, look where it sent it. Spectacular fluke. Can he make it pay? Uh, 
and the answer is going to be no. Much too pacey. 17. Hall, 17. Well, I'm sure Mark Allen will feel that justice was done there. It was an outrageous fluke. It only cost him one point. Yes, a bit of a ne negative safety shot, that, from Robin Hull. Could have got the cue ball down the table like that, but the only problem is he hasn't got the cue ball down the table far enough. And he has left a chance. Although it's pretty straight. And this time he doesn't get away with it. Although the blue has run safe. Don't think the black and pink will pot to any pocket. A rueful smile. Final frame decider, by Five. the way, is uh, just about to begin between Jack Lazowski. Remember him, very talented young player who's rather fallen off the radar of late. Good friend of Judd Trump's up against Joe Perry, but three apiece, so all to play for in that one on one of our outside tables. And the crowd are certainly getting value for money from Anthony Hamilton, who's in action today against Anthony McGill, the reigning Indian Open champion. Hamilton, who finally got the better of Ken Doherty, Earlier today, at a quarter to two a.m. We've had later. Hey, we have famously Thorburn and Griffiths, 3:51 a.m. at the Crucible, back in 1980. Nine. I've beat. I've beat that. was actually 83, of course. It was the year that Thorburn made the 147, the first ever at the Crucible, but went on to lose the final to Davis. No shame in that. 12. Well, that was a good attempt to bring the black and pink into play, but they're still tied up. And not on anything easy. Come on then, Joe, elaborate on your late, late finish or early finish, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> 13. Capacity crowd. Callum, meanwhile, trying to work his way back into this third frame. It was a good pot. He's on the yellow. Uh, 
And that's a terrific positional shot. It's just come past the pink. Cracking shot. He's on the red, 15. but he hasn't got an angle on the red to bring the pink and black into play. And that's what he's nodding his head about. So, maybe 16. he can have another go. Cannon to the pink and black. It's a big target. But even if he gets the cannon, he's not forced to be on the red. Yeah, I think he played for one of these two reds into the left corner. 18. Didn't play to hit the pink and black there. <laughs> okay, nicely played. 19. And this time he might just try and hit the pink and black because he would be on reds if he managed to get the cannon. Or he could be. He'd be unlucky not to be if he got the cannon. Yep, and that's developed them. 21. Well, this has been a tremendous break. Yes, he's having to work with a small fry to get back into this. A lot of effort for relatively few points, but that may now change with that cannon. Twenty-two. Black goes to the right corner. Black ball. Looking very good now, this break. Although there's still the problem of the, that red by the blue. Into the lead then as the break goes to 29. He's taken these exceptionally well so far. Thirty. So he's looking for an angle on the black or pink to be able to move that red. Would be a little bit risky to drop him behind it. Thirty seven. Well, he's just come a little too far. May have to play the cannon to the blue now. No, oh, just missed it. But a chance to play a good safety. Try and get the cue ball 44. in behind the blue. Bit unlucky here, wasn't he? Only just missed the edge of the red. I oh, didn't play Mark that. Allen, well. That was poor. Never got hold of the red. After working so hard to manufacture. That excellent break of 44. One. Has he thrown it all away? 
Still work for Hull to do. Brown and Blue both off their spots. Yes, but it's in Robin Hull's hands. Seven. It's important that it pulls the cue ball back far enough here. Nothing for being short. It's going to finish the right side of the green to be able to get to the brown. Nine. And just not far enough. He's going to have to play this with a lot of side on the cue ball makes the shot so much harder. This isn't straightforward now. Six inches harder, he'd have been able to drop him behind the brown. Yeah, never fancied him for it. Having to play with that Bring much hole. side Nine. on the cue ball. So let off for Mark Allen. No attempt at the pot, couldn't get to the brown, so just played the safety. But Robin could use the brown here, leave the green where the brown is, and try and get the cue ball in behind the black. Just a little bit too thick. Things stand. Alan's going to need green, brown, and blue to move back in front. <laughs> Delighted. Delighted with that one. And big trouble for Robin Hull. The green far enough away from the cushion to make it difficult. So, not only got to hit it, got to get it safe. Coming round the three cushions, maybe. One, two, three, and just missed. Paul, I miss. Is it a free ball? Free ball. And that's a disaster. So Alan has the opportunity of using the black as an extra black green. Already 11 in front. Brown required. Three. Six. So that failed positional shot that he played and the yellow to green is going to cost him. Ten. One snooker required. Well, for the life of me, I don't know why he didn't play to pot the blue. Mike Allen, 10. Well, that blue's on the table, it's just one snooker. Could have pushed it right over the pocket, in or over, it'd have probably pop potted it. This is close. Just a little too hard. A 
Again, no attempt at the pot. Very awkward queuing for Robin Hull. So he looks to get this blue at least in a safe position to keep his hopes alive of the snooker. That's not safe. Well, maybe it is. <laughs> These tables are like lightning. Just the one snooker needed. Alan remains the firm favourite for the 2-1 lead. Well, it was a dangerous way to play it. He was always sending the blue towards that bought corner. So a chance to put the strain to bed. There it goes. Five. Yes, the initial break of 44 from Mark Allen when he had to use the bought colours was very well constructed. That was the launch pad five, five, frame considered for this frame. third frame, Marshall. which he has duly won. Robin Hull unable to get the snooker he required on the blue. So Allen restores his advantage. He leads by two frames to one. At the Northern Ireland Open. Let's just snip over to table two with the players having popped out, or at least Mark Allen has for a bathroom break. And here is a guy you may not have seen much of. Akani Songsum Sarwad of Thailand, but he's clearly a very talented player because he's giving Kyron Wilson a decent match here. As you can see, 2 1 in front. And this frame remains up for grabs. So we'll keep you posted on that. Of course, it, should you wish, you can watch that on the Eurosport Thank player you. right Bring now. Four. Mark Allen to break. And the winner of it will play Ronnie O'Sullivan for a place in the quarterfinals this evening. Our coverage of the last 16 gets underway at 6.45, but a lot of snooker still to play before then in the last 32. Mark Allen breaking off with that 2-1 advantage. The break of 44 he made, Joe, in the previous frame was a lot better than its numerical value. I tell you what, that was one of the best 44s I've seen. He had to use, I don't know, maybe four or five yellows. All small value colours until finally he played a, a magnificent cannon to the pink and black and developed them. But he could have lost, he should have lost the frame when he played that poor safety, attempted snooker. Left Robin Hull in with a chance, didn't get the right side of the green. And it's small little fractions like that that can make all the difference. So Mark Allen with the confidence of a 2-1 lead. And Robin Hull on the back foot slightly.
Well, that's brought the black into play. Well, the attempt at the long red. It could have been worse. Played it with right-hand side on the cue ball to avoid the reds. Always makes the shot that bit, that bit harder. Now, this red is cuttable, but easy enough to play safe. Too thick on the attempted cutback. One nice good pot, but he's not on a colour. He can pot the brown, but he can't get to the reds. And with the pack tightly bunched like it is, snooker, you wouldn't think, would produce anything. Mike Allen, one. But you never know. Well, it's produced six Paul, and three balls. Three ball. Michael in six. Not that it's much use to Alan, so. Think I'll take the three ball. <laughs> There's confirmation. I think this will be going back in all probability. Back.
foul and miss. Michael Same shot. Six. Just not getting enough swerve on the cue ball. Back. Bit of work here for the referee to do. A number of those reds disturbed somewhat. Needs to get a touch more swerve on it. What he's afraid of is getting too much swerve on and missing them and hitting the lower reds. And he could push one on then. It's a bit back. So we Take three, then. Did it just nestle Ball against the red? No, it didn't. Michael and four. Well, it's an improvement insofar as he only gave four points away rather than six, but going to be back where he was again. Just not hard enough Paul this time. Is. Michael and four. Six. Maybe this one just no, a bit. This one. This one. Yeah. A bit. It was touching both. This one. But this one didn't go. The bottom one didn't go. The top one didn't go. Be down. Yeah, it nearly went, but it didn't go because it was touching. It nearly went in there. Mm -hmm. Those two nerves are more that way. The bottom one didn't go, the top one did, just more it twisted. Twisted, you mean? Yeah. This one? This one was up, this one was down. Okay. A dramatic end to the match between Jack Lazowski and Joe. It's been a dramatic end, by the way, to the match between Jack Lazowski and Joe Perry on one of our yep. outside tables, table four to be precise. Lazowski winning that match on the final black. This Perry one. had the chance to force a tie-break black, but Lazowski potted it, and so he is through to the last 16. That's a great win one. for him against Perry, who's been playing some good stuff of late. I think, I think if you bring that one down, because these two were a little Meanwhile, bit... Meanwhile, back at the ranch. This one touching that one, so that this red does not go. So it's 26 points now that Allen has received without swinging his cue. Allen is actually Sorry, okay. saying here is that he thinks that the shot Sorry? should be marginally easier for Robin Hull. There was more target, he felt, in terms of reds to hit. Again, what a good sportsman. And this time, he does hit the reds. 
An expensive visit to the table, however. Just one red down, and Allen 27 points in front. Unusual beginning to this frame. Could be in for a bit of tippy-tappy before things begin to open up. Alan, of course, doesn't want to re-rack because he's 27 points in front. you up to date with some other scores ongoing in the round of 32. I mentioned earlier that Anthony Hamilton was up against Anthony McGill. He made a century in the fourth frame to level at two all, although Hamilton is well ahead in the fifth. Sam Baird and Gary Wilson just starting out now. The winner of that to play the winner of this this evening. And Kyron Wilson and Akani Song Sam Sarwad of Thailand now locked at two frames all on table two. That match continuing on the Eurosport player. Well, maybe able to skim off this red, send the cue ball down the table. applause for a good pace on the cue ball that has left a red close to this right corner but it's such a difficult pot that made even more difficult by the fact that he's got to play it at pace if he wants to play onto the black not interested This frame now 16 minutes old, just one red down.
Well, had no idea where the cue ball was going there. Even if the red had gone in, he couldn't guarantee being on the colour. So that was a big risk. Cue ball was always going into the reds. And now a great chance. Eight. Nine. Fourteen. Um, not straightforward yet. Pink doesn't go to the right corner. Don't think it does anyway. If it does, then it's straightforward. Fifteen. And hit it for the middle. Twenty one. Twenty two. Again, over hit it, played for the pink into the left corner. Having to take the blue on to the yellow pocket. And played that one well though, and now back in prime position. Twenty seven. Twenty-eight. Alan started this break with a cushion of 27 points, 26 of which were given away by Robin Hole in fouls. 34. So already in a very 35. commanding position in this frame, albeit that there are still bags of reds left. It's looking likely to be 3-1 Alan. Forty-two. Yes, anxious moments. It's a, it was a tough red that he took on. A long red with no guarantee of being on the colour, but plenty of risk. Forty-three. Not good odds. Eighty-three left as things stand. Yeah, seventy-six points ahead. Forty-nine. But Robin Hill can still win. 50. Until then, at least. Fifty seven. Oh, that should keep Robin Hull sat 58. in his chair. May have come back to the table before that red disappeared. 64. 65.
Mark Allen acknowledged before this match that he's not really played that convincingly so far in the tournament, but equally he knows his form is there. He has proved that in recent weeks. A couple of semi-final appearances, two wins over Mark Selby on the CV. That takes some doing these days, so his game is there. It's just a question of bringing it out onto the match table and perhaps signs Sometimes. now that he's beginning to flow a little. 29. Tried to develop the red, Eight, but no four. matter. He'd love to make the century, of course. He might try and move it here. Harder. Eight, he five. was on it. Uh, if it had caught the green, that would have been beautiful. 87. A little bit unlucky there. He was so close to getting the cannon he wanted. They'll have to settle for 87, 87. but that will do nicely yeah. for the local hero. Mark Allen now on the cusp of a place in the round of 16 here in Belfast. He leads Robin Hull by three frames to one. He needs just one more to go through. Thank you. Frame five. Robin Hull, top break. Mark Allen with a 3-1 lead. Robin Hull now at the point of no return. Made a good break of 70 to help him level the match at one all. But since then, Mark Allen has monopolised the table. Breaks of 44 and 87 from the left-hander. An early red that might tempt him. Cued yeah. that very sweetly, didn't he? He needs a good kiss. And that's not too bad. Holds his hand up. But nothing's hold your hand up for. Well, knocking, quite. It was a knock, great shot, wasn't it? Knocking those in. <laughs> and played a cracking positional shot there. So straight away, he's in with a chance. Five. And he was clinical when he got that chance in his previous round against Michael... George Yu, those stats Six. were impressive. 94% pot success rate is very, very good. He could go into them here, you know. Try and draw that red through the pack. It could have been better. He split them nice, but just didn't get enough okay. action on the cue ball. I expected him to be on the red below the black. The red to the middle, very tricky. But he may have to take it on. Mark Allen, 13. Never easy. But it was a free go because he wasn't leaving anything. Does that mean dinner's ready?
one. Well, it was a great pot, that. And it wasn't a bad knuckle, although it would have been on the black. But doesn't need to do much with the cue ball here. Just slot the blue into the corner. He'd have a red to this bon. bottom left-hand corner. He's missed it. Coming so, on. One. Mark Allen straight back at the table with a scoring chance. One. And it was he who opened the reds. And now, looks like he's going to reap the rewards. Seven. Eight. Finished a little straight on the than he would have liked. Yep, so he's going to screw back to the cushion and off again. 16. Now, doesn't need to play the cannon into those three reds. He could just drop the black in, play for one of the loose reds. If he plays into those reds, it could go wrong. I think that's a f better choice to play. Twenty-three. Build a lead. Doesn't need to go into those reds just yet, if at all. Twenty-four. Same scenario. Four reds to play for. Thirty one. Thirty two. Well, I think he tried to nick those three reds. Held his head down in disappointment, but it's OK. He's still on the black, and he can still play for various reds. A little hard, and he is disappointed this Take time. Nine. 51 points in front, not too far from the winning post. And of course, if Alan does complete the job in this frame, he'll be chatting with the guys in our studio. So remember to get your questions to the home favourite. Hashtag Home Nations is the place to go. To ask anything about the tournament prospects for the remaining rounds as we head towards the climax of this second leg of the Home Nations Tour. Well, what a cracking shot that was to recover the situation. And now 59 points Point ahead. Still needs a couple of reds. Forty-eight. Well, I don't think there's any doubt that this is a step up in quality today from Mark Allen by his own admission. Bit out of sorts in the first two rounds, but I think he's looked pretty good this afternoon. 
beginning to go through the gears, perhaps, as things become more significant. 52. This is match ball, barring snookers. And right in the middle. There was no doubt about that one, and it wasn't a gimme. Robin Hole fearing the worst, yeah. There's been nothing been wrong down the years with Mark Allen's metal. He's good under pressure. And he is feeling extra pressure this week. So keen to impress his home fans, show them what he's made of. He's doing that here, he's finishing with a flourish. Fifty-nine. Sixty. And he'll have that warm feeling inside now. He knows the job is done. Hole way too far behind to retrieve this situation, even if he got a chance to get back to the table. Sixty-six. Sam Baird or Gary 67. Wilson will be Mark Allen's round of 16 opponent later on today. And they're still in their very early stages. 74. 75. And played up for the green so he could just nudge this red off the cushion. Just a little nudge. Love to finish with a century break. Indeed. Did just that against George Yu yesterday. Saving his best till last. He's doing much the same again here. 81. Robin Hull has had his moments in this match. 83. Break of 70, giving him the second frame. And the third might have gone his way. But there's 86. no question that Mark Allen merits his victory. He's got stronger as the match has gone on. 90. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> what a shame. No century, but a victory. That's the most important thing for Mark Allen. He's played well today. For my money, that's a step up from anything he's produced thus far. Robin Hull's a capable player, a dangerous player on his day. But Mark Allen has got the better of him and has won in style in the end by four frames to one to book his place in the last 60.